your life's conduct is your Christ revealed. Our scripture reading today comes to us from Paul's letter to the Church of Philippi, Philippians chapter 1, verses 27 through 28. Only live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent and hear about you, I will know that you are standing firm in one spirit, striving side by side with one mind for the faith of the gospel, and are in no way intimidated by your opponents. For them this is evidence of their destruction, but of your salvation. And this is God's doing. As we continue on our walking devotional, we recall that walking is not just the physical, but also the emotional, psychological, and spiritual aspects of one's life. It is a completed whole that happens that how we handle life's little annoyances, as well as the big crises in our life, reveals who God is within us and who we are with God. Paul reminds the Philippians, as he's reminding us, too, who are overhearing the conversation, that wherever we are and however we behave, we either reveal Christ or deny Christ in our lives. We should conduct ourselves in a way that reveals Christ rather than denies Christ. Because for others to know that we are Christians by our love, we must reveal Scripture living within us. We have taken the commitment of lifting a cross. We are to be intentional in our commitment, purposeful in our character, and respectful in our daily conduct. There is a great deal of conduct seen and experienced in the world around us that is harsh. It's seen in how we behave and the challenges life brings our way. How we conduct ourselves reveals whether we are walking with, against, or not at all with Christ. So today I ask you to take a notice around you as you conduct yourself in your surroundings. Ponder your reactions and how you might change them when challenged in a situation that grates your nerves or irritates you to no end. May you have the strength to lift up the cross. May you demonstrate the way that you walk is that you live, work, and play for Christ always in your life. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you that you give us the ability to conduct ourselves in manners worthy of love. Help us to demonstrate God's love in the midst of the world, a world torn by unlovable and terrible circumstances and situations. Help us to so reveal you that they see Christ within us and that they are not compelled, but impressed, and consider their own walk to be closer to you. Amen. Blessings to you and yours this day, and always. Goodbye.